Have you ever encountered a situation where the power steering system was making a constant noise or giving you limited power assistance? One test that can help you isolate the source of the problem, saving you time and money, is to connect a pressure gauge between the power steering pump and the power steering gear. My name's Mark Ingram with Garage Gurus, and I'd like to walk you through this test. Once you have connected the power steering gauge in line between the pump and the gear, you're going to check the fluid to make sure that you haven't lost any fluid during connection of the gauge. Check the fluid dipstick and verify the fluid is up to spec. If not, you need to add the correct amount of fluid and the correct type. Some power steering systems require the use of dedicated power steering fluid. Other systems still use automatic transmission fluid. Check the manufacturer's spec to make sure you're using the correct one. Once you've topped off the fluid and run the vehicle until the system is warmed up, you can begin the test. The first part of the test involves checking the power steering pressure at idle. The pressure should register between 125 and 200 PSI. You can see on this truck, we're running at about 150 pounds, which is well within specs. If the pressure is too high at this point of the test, this could indicate a restriction in the system, possibly a restricted hose, or it could be a restriction elsewhere, possibly in the steering gear. Once we verify the idle pressure, we're going to use the restriction valve to cut off the flow from the pump and deadhead the pump. This will show us the maximum pressure that the power steering pump is capable of. This test is done at idle and you should get between 1,425 and 1,525 pounds. As you can see on this system, we're registering about 1,450 pounds. Then you back off the valve and the pressure should return back to where it was originally with no restriction. And you can see we're running at about uh, 125 pounds at this point. The next part of the test will have us tighten down this restriction valve two more times to make sure the pressure goes up within 50 PSI of where it was on the original test. So as long as the pressure goes back up to around 1450, plus or minus 50 pounds, an additional two times, that passes the test. That's what we're looking for. If the pressure, when the pump is deadheaded, returns to the correct value three times in a row, we know the pump has adequate pressure and we're looking for a problem elsewhere in the system. And then by process of elimination, we'll be able to tell if our issue involves a hose, power steering gear, or where the problem lies. This test is found in the manufacturer's procedures it's a fairly simple test. The pressure gauge is relatively inexpensive, but by conducting this test, this will help you save a lot of time and money in diagnosing these systems. I'm Mark Ingram with Garage Gurus. Thank you.